This is a presentation of Hawthorne Public Schools and Bears Broadcasting. And I'm George and Callis. Today we will be getting an update on what is happening at Hawthorne High School. We'll be also getting we'll be also getting a Bears sports update and hear about the Bears decision. The class of 2023 has made it. On your copy of the Hawthorne High School Class of 2023 Commencement Ceremony DVD, the cost is ten dollars for DVD. Orders placed and paid for by June 9th. Fifteen dollars after June 9th. Simply fill out the form, the form at tiny.cc.hhsgradvd and mail, or drop off the cash check to Hawthorne High School mail office in Mr. Small room in 119. For any dis e for any questions, email msmalls at hawthorne.k12.nj.us. The art department hosted its annual art show in the courtyard and surrounding hallways on Friday, May 19, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. There were a lot of baked goods on sale and henna. Students enjoyed their time and saw the hard work of the students. Trooper Youth Week 2023 applications are available. This is a police oriented program running July 31st to August 4th and August 7th to August 11th, 2023. This is a residential youth education program developed by the NJ State Police, which presents simulated law enforcement programs for male and female students who have completed their junior year and are entering their senior year of high school. If you're interested, please see Ms. Harmon in the guidance department. Now we'll send it over to Joey for the Bear Sports Update. The softball team continues their good streak record <laughs> by winning every game they played last week. Baseball won 6-4 against Glenlock on Friday. Lacrosse lost 17-7 to Paramus on Thursday. And baseball plays Butler on Monday. Softball plays North Warren on Tuesday. Come out and support the Bears. And now back to the desk. Now, we'll, now we're going to, now we'll get a spare sports. Now we'll get a... Uh, now, thanks, Joey. With the school year ending, students at Hawthorne High School are preparing for the next stage of their life. Eden Nays, Freya, and Victoria have more. Soon at Hawthorne High School, seniors will be graduating, and it's far along the year where a lot of students are probably opening college letters. But when it comes to deciding what action to pursue, it is a lot of pressure for these seniors to make life-changing decisions. Uh, I will be attending Savannah College of Art and Design, also known as SCAD. Who's attending? University of Kentucky. Ramapo College. Parisian. I chose that school because freshman year they came to visit and it was magical. It was like the perfect art school and it just became my dream school. Because they have a very good finance program. Because my stepdad works there. <laughs> I chose that school because it is a cosmetology school. What are you majoring in? Finance and business. Graphic design. Uh, cosmetology, which is hair, nails, and makeup. Sociology. Besides college, what are your post-grad plans? Uh, to make money and travel. Okay. Um, to move to Savannah for college and then kind of just enjoy life there make friends and go out on the town and maybe get a job okay. um to keep working and to save up money so then I can move out eventually 
to start in a finance uh, company and then wait, make my way up to build my own. Now that we heard from some seniors, this is Victoria interviewing Ms. Banka Ross, one of Hawthorne High School's guidance counselors. Advice for upcoming seniors, so current juniors, really take advantage of your downtime and do research on the computer, um, talk with family and friends, uh, where they've gone to school. What works for one person might not work for the other, but really exposure. Get as much exposure to different schools and um, majors as you would really like. I'll do it for today. See you next time. Best, best of luck to all the seniors. Now we'll send it over to Jack talking about the border. Texas Governor Greg Abbott sent two buses carrying migrants to Washington, D.C. as the end of Title 42 looms at the U.S.-Mexico border. This comes as thousands of people get ready to cross the border into the United States. Abbott's office confirmed that one bus dropped about 50 migrants at Kamala Harris's residence Wednesday night. Another bus carrying more than 30 migrants arrived at Harris's residence Thursday morning. Today, over 60,000 migrants wait at the border to come through. All will be bused away from Texas and cities like New York and Chicago and more to the Harris houses before in the before in the year there was an uprising of people coming over the border illegally and legally. As Title 42 is lifted, the U.S. go back to Title 8 as decided by the Biden administration. Now we'll send it back to the desk. That'll do it for this Bear Sports update. And I'm Anthony Farber. And I'm George Natalis. Uh, sweet. I'm going to spend time with Bear Sports today. Have a great day and go Bears. This has been a presentation of Hawthorne Public Schools and Bears Broadcasting.